they both very generously donated their communication as perhaps an example of how not to do it. So here is a video from Ben to Scott describing what he wants from a particular sound. It's the end of the world. Um, the glass guy's about to die. He's dying as his battery dies. So he starts screaming, then it blacks out, the battery's like dying, but while it's still black, the they can the player can still hear the, the screaming, and then as the black rescinds into that single dot inside the skull, um, it localizes itself to there, so it's screaming ah! into the little dot, and then when you put your ear to it, you can hear the screaming, or when you pick it up and move it, you can hear. Uh, and then when it explodes at the end of that, or like, I guess in the middle of that sequence where all the pilots start shooting out, then it goes to that screaming begins again. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, did you understand? Hello? What was going on? How much did you understand? Yeah, I mean, I saw all that video and it was a bit out of context, but when you actually watch the scene, effectively what's happening is. Uh, it's the end of the world, and uh, the screen just goes blank, and then uh, everything's sort of bubbling around you, and it, and it folds into this tiny little ball. And this is what he's describing. So actually, when you put it next to the scene, it's a reasonably good description. I think maybe what happened after I had sent early versions, and we'll go on to that a bit later, is our dialogue then after about um, how we developed from uh, my early ideas uh, was was where I sort of got a bit confused about the communication. While that seems like it's kind of comedic, it actually, when you pair it with the scene itself, it kind of, I did have a sound in my head to go off when I went from that. I think it's just a case of um, the difficulty of just sending uh, a dialogue over uh, the internet is that you, the, so a lot of things get lost in translation and uh, it kind of helps to have a video in this case but personally I would always prefer to have, like, sit down and actually have a conversation about these things. I mean, I get what you mean, it does, it does maybe, maybe it's very emphatic in Ben's own way, which is, I, I particularly love, but it also was kind of clear with a special like the actions. Anyway, there's more. So Ben sends Scott a reference track, as we just talked about. No problem. Sends a draft. Couple of revisions. Up to here, if this was me in this conversation, everything makes sense. Very clear. Up to here. Did you bump the melody? It's too much a song. I don't understand. It sounds like a toothpaste. Too much. <laughs> I'm so confused. Why are you saying did I copy the melody? And it's just not necessary. It's a soundtrack beat, not a musical beat. Rhythm and melody don't really apply. It's an explosion. <laughs> Scott, but then I have a couple of things to add to Yeah, I mean, this is this is kind of what I was talking about in terms of like it's great having I mean, Discord keep in touch and like share things all the time but you know when you're trying to discuss things like this that really effectively uh, to describe sound one of the only ways we can really do it is like whoosh or, or boom you know you have to like you can't really say that over over messenger and I kind of got after that first video he then sent me the uh, random access memories soundtrack kind of unprompted, but just with a uh, uh, YouTube drop point from where to start from. And I sort of listened to it, I was like, oh, okay, I can see what he's talking about here. And I sort of made something that was like pretty similar to what I was hearing. But it was, it was musical, and then I think we just kind of got lost from there. So what really needed to happen in that situation is, we had a reference track, but we should have, like we said before, we should have sat down and talked about what Ben actually wanted me to focus off on that soundtrack and what um, my thoughts would have been on the soundtrack as a reference point and then bounce from there but in, instead it was kind of like this unprompted thing I just went, with, went back and did something um, so I think both 
on both parts we kind of learn something like how to develop from there. Sure, it makes perfect sense. I personally, if this was me, I personally don't understand the difference between a soundtrack beat or a musical beat. I don't know if there is a difference. And rhythm and melody don't really apply to me. All music is is rhythm or melody or both. But if everything you just pointed out makes a lot of sense. Yeah, there's some there's some like basic terminology that do becomes confusing when 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 that was said. And I'm going to come on to that exactly that point after this, which is why this is a perfect example. So thank you so much to both of you for presenting this and giving it to us as an example because this happens more often than 